Hi, I'm Peter Atkinson. I'm a member of the Gugwanderuk Indigenous team. I'm one of the lecturers here and today I wanted to talk with you a little bit about shame. So what is shame? Uh, shame is, um, is a very common sort of feeling uh, amongst many Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. And I suppose the thing to clarify um, straight away is that shame isn't about being ashamed per se. It's much more about being humble um, and it's demonstrated in feelings of where you feel a little bit uncomfortable or maybe a bit embarrassed. We definitely don't want to be the person who's drawing attention to ourselves and that may impact on the way that we communicate and definitely will impact on um, whether we're communicating directly. So we, there's a lot of indirect communication that happens when people are feeling shame. Shame's important to, uh, for health professionals to know about because it can impact on their patient um, during their consultation with you, but also on any subsequent consultations as a part of their treatment. Some examples of shame in healthcare are found mainly in issues that are not really talked about in public uh, in our communities and things like um, men's and women's business, uh, reproductive health and um, um, sexual health, um, for example, but also in things like mental health and drug and alcohol um, types of services. One of the other ways that um, shame is seen in particular is, um, you know, we think in this day and age that, that um, you know, men can see female practitioners and women can see male practitioners, but I know even young women feeling shame at having to see uh, a male doctor or, uh, or even a male nurse. and. Um, it's important for health professionals to understand that, that, that people are feeling this and recognise when they're feeling, um, you know, feeling this shame. Um, and you can recognise it, like I said, by when the patient's feeling a little bit, you can see that they're a little bit uncomfortable or, or they're not engaging with you um, really well or, um, or maybe they're not, they're not asking questions or, um, or they look a little bit unsure about what's happening. How you can overcome shame in your practice is one, by acknowledging that it's there, and, um, and two, by taking even just a couple of minutes um, of your time with the patient to explain to them what's gonna happen during their consultation. Because um, sometimes when you give patients, um, in particular Aboriginal patients, good information, um, that prepares them for what's going to happen during the consultation. They feel a little bit more empowered and some of those feelings of discomfort that are, you know, around during that time of shame, some, sometimes that can alleviate that discomfort. Um, also by asking the patients, you know, do they have any questions? Um, would they like any further information? Um, or is there any, anybody else that they'd like to have in the room with them during the consultation? Sometimes that can make them feel more comfortable as well.